Good morning, fellow wizards and code crafters. Um, today we are going to briefly talk about some of the changes that have happened with the Report Center over the past couple of years and how, um, how you can write a report or design a report, really, um, so that it works no matter who you send it to. And this isn't going to be a long video. We're going to focus on one specific report that was shared with the community that um, some members seem to have no problem with, um, while others had problems. And the whole reason for the issue, to be honest, has to do with the fact that there was a change made at some point, I think it was after version 12, where the units of measure for the design center of our reports changed. Um, in version 12 and prior, all units of measure in the design center were metric. So if you typed in 15, for example, for the width of a field, it would set the wheel, uh, it would set the field at 15 millimeters wide. And I have an example here in version 12 of that. So if we look at this, this field here, we can see the width is 15. Um, when you don't have the, the input box or whatever you want to call this targeted, um, you can see there's a suffix after the unit that indicates it's a millimeters, right? It's a metric measurement. So in version 12, you could type in 15 and you'd get a box that's approximately, well, probably exactly, or as close as you can get, 15 millimeters wide. Unfortunately, um, the same thing in later versions does not apply. And so here I am now, as you, you may not have realized what I, what I did there, but I'm, I'm switching back and forth. This is version 12 which is just a simple little report I built to demonstrate the differences here. And this is 2023 with a report that was shared by somebody on the community. So what this report is supposed to look like, it's supposed to show the, you know, the list of UCS here, whether or not it's disabled, the names of all the UCS and whether or not it's a pre-build condition. And just a moment. So here is a um, just a little image of more or less what it should look like. So as you can see, right, we've got UCS numbers, whether they're disabled, the name, and then pre-build, whether it's a pre-build or not. And so this was the example image that was shared. But when the report comes through by default, this is actually what we end up seeing. So, right, it's listing all the numbers and everything, but there's no disabled column or name or pre-build. So anyway, um, I kind of jumped in here to take a look at what was going on. And the first place I went was report properties, right, to make sure, yeah, everything is coming through as we would expect. The data is good. So there must be something with the design, right? And that was when I noticed that if I highlight this sort of row where I would be expecting to see several different fields here, um, I'm only getting one field. And so this jumped out pretty much right away. Something must be wrong here. And when I looked over in this field, I saw, okay, this is 15 inches wide, right? So there is a unit of measure that exists within the report design center called uh, unit from SCM. And I don't really know what SCM means or what the nomenclature of that is from, but I do know that one unit from SCM is equal to one one thousandth of a millimeter. So that makes it very easy to um, to write metric values. It's a little tougher to write imperial values and units from, from SCM because you have to go through a bit more conversion. But hey, here's one of the few areas where you metric guys don't have to struggle quite so much with that because uh, multiplying something by 25.4 is a bit easier. Um, or just forget I said that. Uh, anyway, so what we can do here is instead of 15, 
we can just close this in unit from SCM and multiply the 15 by 1,000 or 15,000, right? And you'll notice here, right now it says, my table width is too small by 14.721 inches. But as soon as I confirm that I want this size, the, the message probably won't go away because I don't think it updates. But uh, actually it did, it updated, right? So now rather than being like nearly 15 inches too wide, now we're just barely 0.312 inches too wide, which is not necessarily a problem. It could be potentially, but um, when I click okay, now all of a sudden this width is much less um, and you can see all of the information that we we're expecting and if the table being too wide really bothers you there's a couple of things you can do about it basically you just grab this kind of bring it over and snap it and at that point when we come in here well it still says it's a little too small but whatever um, so anyway that would be the the way to write the size of these fields kind of correctly and again if you're just writing reports for yourself you're never planning on sharing them this is not really that important of an issue because you're going to write it you're going to put 15 millimeters you're going to use it in your system it's going to read it as 15 millimeters and you'll be fine unless um, you happen to be somebody who lives in a region or who has their computer set up so that their regional settings or whatever it is that controls this are set up for inches to be your standard unit of measurement. For those of us who, who live in those areas, when we bring reports from older versions of Cabinet Vision, version 12 and before, uh, into newer versions, all of our stuff is going to be really kind of messed up. Um, and that's what a lot of people have, I think, struggled with as the versions have changed with the reports, because a lot of them, when you open them up, are a mess, just to be totally honest. Um, I'll show one that is absolutely just a really good example, all right? I'm not trying to be negative and I'm not trying to drag the video out, but uh, basically my S2M Center reports in my 2023 are a little bit kind of broken. So I'm gonna pause while this, oh, never mind. It actually happened fairly quickly. Interesting, I could have swore I put parts down. Either way, I don't really need any parts. Uh, actually, yes, I do. I need, I need a part to get to. All right, so pause the video for a sec while I got here. You guys don't need to wait while this is happening. And... Um, that's interesting. I don't know what that is, but anyway. Um, so you're probably familiar with this view, right? But when you go and you look at reports, um, if we look at the different pattern sheets and maybe these ones will be okay-ish, but um, here's one that's kind of broken that, that is a result of the the changes. But if we go and we look at like, this guy here. And I know this one is kind of messed up because, huh? Shame on me. So I feel like yesterday <laughs> I was sitting here looking at these things and they were all kind of screwed up. And I don't know, maybe I just, I'm just remembering incorrectly or something. Maybe it was the saw cut list. Yeah, I don't know. But with a lot of the reports, at least, and now I'm really curious. Hmm. Yeah, well. Forget I said anything about that, but basically a lot of times when you bring the report in from an older version to a new version, those dimensions will stick at like inch values instead of metric values. And it kind of just, it just 
makes the report feel like it's kind of blown up. And um, the way that you get through that is you go and you look at the dimensions of every single individual item or object within the report design. You just have to find these things, click on them, check their placement, check their sizes, and make sure that the sizes that are entered make sense. Um, in this particular case, again, when I, when I opened the report, I saw 15 inches wide for a field dimension. And that, again, just kind of jumped out immediately. That shouldn't be that wide. The piece of paper it's supposed to get printed on, if you print it, is only, you know, eight and a half inches wide. So with a 15 inch wide field, something is clearly wrong. And from there, it was just a matter of changing it from, you know, 15 inches to 15 millimeters and everything worked out. So I, ho I hope this was informative, at least in that particular case. And I hope that this helps you out in the future if you're working with reports.